of it, you use the sword. I have a feeling mm -hmm. that it was going to be lucky, and uh, well, there's nothing to do with luck. It's really the hard work, right. and so I appreciate it. And tons of thanks, Thanos, man. Oh. Hey, everybody. This is uh, this is Don Lanning, and I'm here with another artist spotlight. Um, this is a feature of our Making Monsters 101 class, and I'm so happy to introduce you to this wonderful artist. Go ahead and give us your name. Here's his information. Sure, yeah, my name is John Willis. Um, I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a stop motion animator, but uh, I've always had a passion for sculpting. And uh, I just, I, I, uh, I've been waiting for a chance to uh, take this class. And uh, an opportunity popped up, so I was like, I'm doing it, I'm going for it. So well, I, well, let, let yeah. us hold this up yeah. for you. Uh, if you want to get in touch with Sean, yeah. this is a great way. He's you can follow me on Instagram. I got. I'm gonna be posting loads of photos of this, and yeah. hopefully we'll be doing a casting of it, and we're gonna be painting it. And uh, I hope so. It's gonna look really good. Yeah. Here, let me sh let me turn down. I got a little noise over here. I'll be right back with you, Sean. Hey, yeah. Sean, can you bring out your references? Oh where, yeah, I'll bring out my references. Where you yeah. started. So um, when I knew Sean was coming back, we we met many years ago. Yeah, we've known each other for a couple yeah. years. Yeah. You know, when I when he came in, I was wondering what what subject matter he would choose. <laughs> And uh, I knew that he needed a male head, and he had a few different ideas, and of course Thanos, which is in everybody's mind right now. Yeah, it's kind of a big thing. I'm so. gonna move this over, yeah. So yeah. So this is a hot toy. This is a hot toy. And we love hot toys. They've done their research, and usually I don't use some other artist's interpretation of a subject matter for reference, but these hot toys are like brilliant little silicone heads. Oh, yeah. So to have some information from a hot toy was fantastic. Let's go to the other reference. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got another yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from the same one. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh. here, here's, here's the, here's what I reference the most. The side, to get the silhouette. Um, it's still, it, it's still really tricky. I'm not sure if I nailed it 100 percent, but, um, I mean, we, we uh, it was a week. You know, we did this. In, yeah, and I'm uh, also, five, five I'm days, also yeah. ca careful to tell you that this yeah. is still a work in progress. Yeah, it's I'm proud of you because yeah. this is 40 hours of work. Yeah. And he's been staying close to his references. He's going to take this home, and he's going to finish it up, and then he's going to post. I was just so tickled. Here we are at the end of the class. I just wanted to uh, show you guys this because I love this character, and I know you do too. Yeah. Um, and I feel like you really nailed it. I can see Josh Brolin in there. That's great. That's I can great. see him in there. I want to turn the profile. I want you to bring back your reference yeah. because he worked to stay on the reference. Yeah. As much as I possibly could. That's right. That's right. Uh, I took photos. Um, I, I I cut back, you know, on it. Uh, I had I had Turn a. This oh yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I had a. Uh, I had two layers going, so I had the picture of um, this silhouette, yep. and then yep. the pic this picture on top of it, and I would uh, turn on turn it on and off to check to make sure that I was in the right place. And yeah. that was invaluable to cracking his face, to sure. cracking the, sure. the, uh, the look. So. One, of these, one of the adventures that you go through when you're doing reproduction is you're trying to get rid of the, the artistic uh, part of you that might go off on tangents, yeah. that might uh, use a tool that you love so much that you get a certain effect with that you allow it to invade the reference. Uh -huh. um, I want to compliment you that you stayed okay. on the reference. The reason why this is so uh, wonderful is he first nailed the profile. Uh -huh. Once you got the profile, we could. Uh, this was in the first two days. Mm -hmm. We were already able to see the character. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we to had to. We had to this point. We had to nail it. Like, yeah. Tell us about the eyes. What was going on with the eyes? Yeah. So these so eyes. Um, Come on. Those are just uh, 28, 28 measured uh, yeah, yeah, eyes. Yeah. Um, Outer circumference of 28. Yeah. There's plastic over them, so we're uh, keeping them uh, safe from damage. That's whatever. right, and this is one of my things. You can see that eye you clouded can, you a little can still bit. See the, yeah, you can still see the plastic. But, yeah, but um, that's minor. By wrapping could, those eyes in plastic. That, like, Sorry, yeah, kid. Yeah. I'm doing the right. Oh, no, it's fine. You can yeah. see that eye really well. Yeah. You can just do it. Yeah. 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 And by wrapping them in plastic, he gets to send this off to the mold maker mm -hmm. and keep the eyes. Uh, how much were the eyes? They were 70 bucks. 70, 70 bucks. bucks. Yeah. And but that's fourth seal. Fourth seal eyes, and they're beautiful. Beautiful eyes. Yeah, man. Well, once again, Gabby, I want you to come in. I'm going to be quiet, mm -hmm. and I want you just to come in and take some beauty shots. I am going to turn this for you, mm -hmm. and you can do all kinds of beauty stuff. Cool. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. Not at all. This is done in wet clay, and I'm always hopeful mm -hmm. uh, that 
our artists that come in and visit with us and spend time with us mold. He may or may not mold, but this is a wonderful piece. Power. Power. We had a lot of conversations about power, and yeah. we also watched the movie quite a bit. We watched the movie <laughs> multiple, multiple times. <coughs> Which is great uh, yeah. for we watched inspiration. It today. We watched yeah. it today. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. also we were talking about, uh, I'm a real dyed-in-the-wool practical guy, and I love this this digital character, mm -hmm. and for all this, the, uh, the wonderful technology, he's just a, a fantastic thing, and I feel happy to be in the room. Mm. This is a weird thing to say on camera, but... Sometimes I judge these things by how do you make how does it make me feel to be in the room with this thing? Yeah, I feel like I'm in the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that's why I did it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. absolutely yeah. why I did it. And I believe a lot of us in the artistic <laughs> field or people that work in the film business, we're in it because we love movies yeah. and we love uh, all that is science fiction, yeah. fantasy, and horror. Right. But uh, yeah, and it's a testament to his character too that I chose to do him instead of like an obvious character like. You know, Captain America or, right, or right. You, know, you know, Iron Man or somebody like that. It's right. like, I really wanted to do the costumes. I really wanted to do this character. Yeah, that's right. I really wanted to do this. That's right. Um, and I want to compliment you on your texture. You know, like I mentioned before, he's going to continue this at home and he's going to be posting in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps even be at Monster Palooza with it. We don't yeah, know. We'll see. we'll see, hopefully. But whatever happens, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about your detail. Talk to us a little bit about tools. Mm hmm. Talk to us about perhaps something that was very difficult, something that you had to do a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give us a little bit of sure. Idea yeah. Of well, the mo the hardest part by far was really cracking the form, the forms and everything. That was incredibly difficult because um, it, it, just grabbing the forms, like knowing the right placement. It's, it's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle piece. You have to insert the right. Uh, uh, form in the right place or else it doesn't work. So yeah. once once I got all that in place, the detail is just kind of like fun, like at that point because you're just like, oh, I'll just, I don't have to concentrate on, on the overall picture because if you're, if you're doing forms um, if, you're, if you're doing forms, like it, it informs everything else. Yeah, you know, it sure if, does. If you, don't, if you don't put it in the right place, it's going to screw up the whole thing. That's so right. it's all, it's all going to be in the right right place to begin with so that that was by far the most difficult part i had a lot of fun um using different kind of tools in this that i've never used before and uh, <laughs> you test drove a few new and tools I, yeah t i test and that, that was a lot of fun doing that um, yeah. so yeah really detail work wasn't really right. the hard part at all right. like it was just i i did scratch the eye uh pl the plastic mm -hmm. so we had to go in and like put it back right. on and put it back in so right. that was that was a little scary. That, that right. you know, right. doing that. But uh, aside from that, uh, yeah, it wasn't that wasn't that bad. Right. Uh, I mean, it was hard. You know, this was very difficult. <laughs> like to, to just the well, physical task of putting the clay on the the the, uh, the thing was pretty. Sculpting pretty is not easy. Yeah, it, it's, it's not it's easy. Physical demand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's messy. It's but, messy uh, it's and not easy. But, uh, the rewards so, are it's great. so fun. Yeah, it's yeah. so rewarding. Yeah. That's why I like. That's why I like to do it. It was a pleasure working with you. Yeah. And once again, he's going to continue on. The adventure doesn't end just because we're at the end of right. our class. Yeah. He's going to take his new tool knowledge, and he's going to take the energy and the excitement over realizing this character, mm -hmm. and he's going to continue on. And we hope you mold it. We hope you paint a few copies yeah. and share it with our community. But, I sure uh, will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anything else? Uh, what's going on in your work life right now? Um, well, I know that you worked on uh, Robot Chicken. Can you tell yeah, us anything? Yeah, I do, uh, I do animation on Robot Chicken. I'm an animator. I, I move the puppets, and, and uh, right. I'm one of the many animators I have. Right. Uh, and that's my main source of uh, career, you know. And um, I, I do that mainly, and I'm doing... Uh, I'm I'm working on Robot Chicken right now, and I'm uh, gonna go I'm gonna go on to a new show soon that's starting soon, but uh, I haven't begun that soon. So well, yeah, I'll keep informed. We're all animation yeah. uh, geeks here, yeah. from Harryhausen on forward, uh, yeah. certainly right through into Robot Chicken. Mm -hmm. We love the show, and we've been with it for many seasons. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, um, I uh, you know you don't need your center line anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You want to pull that out? You want to get rid of that? We'll see. Let's hope I don't fall over. That's up to you. You guys, we use a, a, a sword for a center line. This is yeah. one of my things. And he's got one up here that I've used on projects that I loan him. Yeah. Um, he used that to keep himself centered throughout the sculpture. Yeah. I think the sculpture's far enough along to pull that if you want. Yeah, that's true. And so he'll pull that. Yeah. yeah.
pretty pretty far. Pretty, yeah. Pretty far. No, away. you're there. All right. Let's see if I can do this. And of course, we're no, that was much easier than I expected. <laughs> bravo, bravo. He who draws uh, the sword from the stone <laughs> shall be king. Great. Right. For That's those right. of us that know uh, the movie Excalibur. Yeah. Anyways, well, listen, right, Sean. Right. It was great working with you, man. Yeah. Man. And uh, good luck in your coming year and going back on to your animation projects. Right. And I really enjoyed you being here. Um, yeah, I enjoyed working. Right on. Yeah, right on. Right on. Right on. Well, listen, we want to thank our friends over at Berman Industries, as always, for supplying us with our materials. And, uh, uh, well, we just appreciate you. I want to mention that I do have a, a new class coming up. We have Monster Palooza coming up uh, here in April. And I know a lot of people are going to be in town. I want you to write us for information. I've staged a class the week after Monster Palooza. So if you're going to be uh, coming into town for the show, I'd love you to stay on a week and come in and work with us and do a sculpture of your own. Go enjoy the monsters and then come sculpt a monster with us. Yes. And uh, we also have a special discount if you're traveling in, uh, outside of the United States for you to make it a little bit easier for you. But uh, we're now opening reservations for that. And so I want you to look below for information on that. But, uh, well, superheroes. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought, you know, 20 years ago, uh, I love so much uh, comic book characters and stuff like this. It's really become a benchmark in our society. Yeah. And we look to it for our escapism. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, we just spent a bunch of time watching the movie. I'm in love with this character. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot of people. There's no surprise there. But, um, you know, Gollum offered a lot. Yeah. The Planet of the Apes series offered a lot. I got to tell you, I got really swept away yeah. in your love of Thanos. Yeah. It infected me, and I, I got that feeling. Now I want to go out and, and uh, get some hot toys and yeah. get some inspiration, but uh, this is just wonderful. Before we head out, I'm just going to do one last beauty shot and turn this around. We're going to go from this side mm -hmm. to the other side, and then Gabby can close it whenever she's ready. <sighs> and here we go. He's heavy. Oh, yeah. He's heavy. <laughs> he's heavy. There's some tinfoil in there to keep him away. Yeah, we use so some it's not tinfoil. all clay. It's not all clay, but... No. Here, uh, here we went for full clay because in case he changed or wanted yeah. to open the mouth. Yeah. Back here, we have a lot of tinfoil, mm -hmm. but we still got a big boy here. It, is he close to the actual size of the oh, character? Oh, that's, that's the thing. If I had been... Uh, if I had made more time to really plan it out beforehand... I would have uh, realized that this is actually a little bigger than well, than the actual thing. It's like yeah, this. Uh, we measured it with a hand, and we realized the hand. Like yeah. it was just, it was just. A it's little a little bigger. bigger. It was a little bigger. Yeah, but, um, but that's fine. That's fine. This is a monument to him. You know? Better it's bigger pretty, than too small. Yeah, exactly. Is the way I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, Plus, yeah. if he was to do a polyfoam and latex, I think we're looking at ten to fifteen percent shrinkage. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being silly. <laughs> I'm being silly. But listen, we want to thank you guys out there for all of your support and your kindness and supporting our artists. And uh, once again, Sean, thanks for a great time. We'll see you next time.